Hey guys, Jack from Half Chrome. Today I've got my Tiny Hawk, and this is probably my current absolute favorite quad. I love flying this thing. It's an absolute blast. Yeah, you can see I've got a bunch, uh, and this is the thing that I'm going to rip through batteries with. I want to tell you why. So recently I've been into flying FPV, uh, I kind of started on camera drones, phantoms and things like that and uh, recently I've been converted, I've been running a drone club up at school, we've got into this awesome uh, drone racing championship uh, where we just finished the GoDrone X drone clan wars, that was a blast, you can check out uh, the video up here. So I've been doing a lot of flying FPV, helping kids learn in beta flight, uh, trying different controllers, my new current uh, controller is the uh, Tyrannus X Lite. I really like that thing. The small gamepad style really does feel nice in my hands. It's not unwielding. I do like the QX7, so I'm kind of going back and forth between the two, uh, but for now I'm sticking with the X Lite. Anyway, why do I like this thing, the uh, Tiny Hawk here? Uh, it kind of starts with this frame, right? Uh, I have broken some of these spindles here. I've put a little dabs of welder glue to keep it in place. Uh, but otherwise, this outer ridge of the frame is super durable. A lot of these other ducted quads, like the Mobula 7, uh, they don't have that. In fact, the 7 is notorious for breaking frames. People are trying the uh, Generation 2 and Generation 3 frames and having better luck with those. But you don't hear people complaining about this frame, right? Uh, it's just super rigid. I crashed the heck out of this thing. Um, and you can see just some minor damage, right? The other, because of this design, it's actually more efficient than you might think. These aren't actually ducks. The ducks do kind of help keep it quieter and add some efficiency, uh, but they don't, don't help with cornering, right? Um, that's not going to be a problem with this. You can see these invert, um, inverted motors here. Uh, these, not really prop, they're basically prop guards, right? They do a nice job of, of keeping these propellers from flying off when you crash. Yeah, I've had to pop one or two back on, but uh, nothing like any of the other tiny whoops that I've been flying. Now, I do plan to transition to something bigger. Uh, I've got a 5-inch that I'm going to bust out this weekend, uh, provided it isn't raining. Uh, but I, I'm going to go through the paces with this first, right? I can fly this indoors, um, and I highly recommend, if you do, check out the uh, Project Mockingbird. Uh, tune on this thing makes it awesome for flying inside, specifically if you're going to go with angle mode. Uh, but anyway, I can take this thing outside and fly an acro as well. Now, I'm still uh, kind of a developing acro pilot, uh, so we'll see how this does. Um, it's probably not the best in terms of acro if you want to whoop. Um, I would go with something 2S like the Mobile 7 or the Trash Can. I've got both of those, uh, and I'll have a review on them, and I'm going to get a whole lot of packs in. Uh, so that I can really kind of tell you a little bit about them. But uh, this thing, for beginners, really, honestly, if you want to fly FPV, this is where it's at. It rocks in angle mode. It can fly in acro mode. There's horizon mode. And actually something called acro trainer that I would highly, highly recommend you take a look at uh, rather than something like horizon mode. It's a great way to kind of learn how to fly acro, not worrying about having to push limits where it's going to tumble and crash on you. So this thing, an absolute blast. Um, and if you want to learn how to fly, uh, this is the way to go, right? You can get an all-in-one drone, remote, and goggles for about 165 bucks. In fact, I just saw it the other day on Banggood for 150 on sale. That is an absolute steal. I got my Horizon Hobby Kit for about 150 bucks, um, and this this is by far a better deal. Right. Emacs really has taken some time to do the little things right. And I can say that this isn't my first Emacs quad. Um, I actually started with the Baby Hawk, which was, you know, a while ago. This thing was cutting edge in terms of, of micros. This thing will fly on 2 or 3S if you're pushing the envelope. Um, and it's just super compact, uh, pretty darn durable. This thing's gone through a handful of crashes as well. I've flown this, I've flown the, uh, the Baby Hawk R. Um, Emacs does the little things right. Their designs are unique. They are not a rip-off artist like some of those companies uh, coming out of China. Uh, they put together their own stuff. Their boards are unique, their designs are unique. 
um, and they do the little things right, like shipping you with cases, um, all-in-one packages, Emacs. Really, you can tell, really thought hard about the redesign on this thing. And I, I expect to see a slightly larger 2S version coming out soon, um, so we'll see. But uh, what else do you want to know about this quad? Now, you can see I've got some secondary props on here. These are not the originals. These are four blades. Uh, because they give me a little bit more grip and they allow me to flip in turtle mode. Quick hint, uh, usually people try to flip side to side in turtle mode. Uh, pull that right stick all the way down, that thing will flip right over for you. Uh, so that's one thing that, uh, that I learned. Because I might have crashed this thing once or twice. But yeah, the Emacs Tiny Hawk, absolutely an awesome quad. Pick one up whether you fly big ones or if you're just getting into the hobby, you want something like this to rip around inside you can fly it outside it is the best of both worlds i've got a whole lot more information on this i've compared it to the mobile i'll do an in-depth comparison with that um, and we've got some hd whoops coming our way as well so uh, make sure you click that subscribe button so you can see some of those hey thanks for watching make sure you check us out on halfchrome.com we also do some writing over at the drone dj as well so that's dronedj.com hope to see you again soon happy flying